Hey guys, it's Young Minded Jess here back with another video and today we're going to be talking about how to make a server for SCP Secret Factory. Now this used to be a lot more complicated, you used to have to do it through SteamCMD but I'm going to be showing you how to do it through um, the Steam dedicated server tool. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Steam and you just want to type in SCP. Then um, under tools you should see SCP dedicated server. What you're going to have to do is um, install this basically, I think it's about 300 megabytes um, and then you can run it. You do not need the server mod, um, just the dedicated server. Then you want to go ahead and launch it. Here you just want to type in 7777. Basically what you're doing here is typing in the port number. Um, so what port you're going to have to open to allow people to play on your server. Um, and I'll cover this, f you know, more in the port forwarding section of this video. So you just want to press that, and then it'll boot up all this stuff. You basically just want to let it run through whatever it's doing, and then after it's finished, we're just going to type um, exit here. Now we need to customize our server. So what you want to do is go here, type in run. And then you want to type in uh, percentage app data percentage. This will take you to the app uh, app data folder. And then you want to go to SCP secret library. Then you want to go to config. 7777. And config underscore gameplay. Now this is where you can customize things about your server. So server name, I'm just going to call it youngmindhs underscore server then um, the only ones you need to change here are max players and you'll need to add your IP so to do that you go um, here and you type in if you just type in IP config it will bring up the command prompt it will know what you're talking about um, but if it doesn't just type cmd and it will bring up the command prompt um, and then you want to type in IP config. Now what you're looking for here is your IPv4 address. So you just want to highlight that and copy it. And then you want to paste it in here. Then the rest of these um, you can leave default, but these are all the customizations of your server basically. Um, but it's up to you if you want to play around with these. If you want me to do a video on what all these mean, I can do that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to be going over the basic stuff. So then you just want to save that. And exit. And now you actually do have a server. But if you want people to be able to join, you are going to have to port forward it. So I'm going to go over that now. So now we need to port forward the server so that your friends can actually join. So what you want to do is go to the search bar and type in cmd and then we want to type in ipconfig in here. Then you're looking for the default gateway. Just highlight and copy it. But don't close this because we will need it again. Then you want to type this into your web browser and it should take you to your router page. Then you want to go to maintenance, sign in. This can take a while sometimes, um, and then you want to go to security, services, uh, add service, name, we're just going to call it SCP, we're going to put it as TCP and UDP, we're going to put the start port as 7777, and the finish port as 7777. Then we're going to hit apply. Now we just need to let it through the firewall, so we're going to go to firewall rules. Then we're going to go down here, click add, open this and go down to SCP that you just created, should look like that. Then we're going to type in destination IPv4 landress, that's basically um, this IPv4 here it tells you. Um, so you just want to type that in. And then you want to hit apply. 
and then that's the server port forwarded. So we can close this down and launch the server. So then this is gonna load up the server for you and it's gonna say waiting for players. So now all we need to do is launch the game See, it's just loading up here, and then I'll show you how to get into your server. Oh, it's not responding. <laughs> Good start. Um, okay, I'm going to close this, and I'll be back when I've got the game open. Okay, so now we've actually got the game working. I'm going to go to play, join game, direct connect. And your friends here would put in your IP address that you've put into the port forwarding in the server, but you can just put in local host and then it'll connect you. And you can see it's loading now. Again, if it's your first time joining the server, it can take a while, um, but it's just going to load it up now for us. And now you can see that we're in the game um, and it is waiting. But obviously because it's just one person, it's not actually going to start the game. Um, so after your friends would join, it would start. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped you out, please leave a like and please subscribe. It means a lot to me and it really helps out the channel. If you want to go that extra mile, I do have memberships on my channel now. Uh, just click that join button to find out what that's about. But anyway guys, till next time. I'll see you soon.